on your side. Justin McLennan on 12 News, working for you. Coming up on 12 News Weekend Edition, local residents say they're dealing with damages because of poor drainage after yesterday's storm. Plus, hit by tornadoes weeks ago and now hit with more severe weather. We'll show you damages from Kentucky. A winter weather advisory is in effect for the mountains as snow makes its way into the region. Those details coming up as 12 News Weekend Edition starts now. Working for you. This is WBOY, now in high definition. 12 News Weekend Edition starts now. Good evening and welcome to 12 News Weekend Edition. I'm Gina Cadigan. Thanks so much for joining us. A rainy day. Let's take a look at our first forecast with some severe weather moving in. Josh Redwine is standing by with more. Josh. Thanks, Gina. Yes, we have had that rainy day today, and luckily most of that rain has pushed out of the region. But we are experiencing some snow beginning to move into the area. We have a winter weather advisory for our Hardy, Grant, Pendleton, Randolph, Pocahontas, and Webster counties here in our region. And part of Pocahontas County is actually under a winter storm warning. So if you are heading out tonight, make sure you take a little bit of extra time. Give yourself time on those roads because they will be slick and wet with all of that snow coming down and after all of that rain that we have seen recently. In the mountains, we may see anywhere upwards of two to four inches, if not a little higher in some regions, but I'll have those details coming up in just a little bit. Gina? Josh, one person is in custody after making threats about bringing a firearm into a school. Per Webster County Sheriff Rick Clayton, an Instagram post was made by an unidentified account threatening to take a firearm to Webster County High School on January 3rd. State police started an investigation with the Webster County Sheriff's Department, Webster County Prosecutor's Office, and an officer from the Cowan Police Department to identify the person that made that post. According to a Facebook Facebook post made by Sheriff Clayton. The person is now in custody and the school is safe to return to on Monday. On Saturday night, heavy rainfall fell across the strait, causing chaos for some residents. In Grafton, the son of one resident explained they've been having numerous issues of, with drainage in the area of Yates Avenue. He also says that because of the lack of proper drainage, water will build up in front of the house and overflow the garage drain, causing backup into the basement. Seems like every time that it rains real heavy, her basement's getting flooded. Her little her drain in her driveway's uh, uh, trying to keep up with it. And uh, and we've we've talked to the city, talked to the state, but you can tell the the drain's higher than the than the the road here, and it's not draining. The Knotts family says the water rushing into and flooding the basement has cost them some of their priceless family heirlooms and keepsakes. Storms didn't just hit here. Severe storms pounded southwestern Kentucky on New Year's Day. The storm that may have spawned a tornado tore up several businesses in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Hopkinsville is about 75 miles from Mayfield, Kentucky, where a tornado leveled much of the town back in December. Caution tape lined parts of the, town, the downtown area as authorities asked residents to stay away. Power lines were toppled and several homes also sustained damage. The governor of Kentucky declared a state of emergency on Saturday. There were no reports of immediate injuries. And those flash floods in Kentucky forced emergency crews to snap into action when people got stuck in the floodwaters. This rescue took place early Saturday morning. Several rescuers took off in a boat to save a driver who managed to hold on to a tree after his vehicle was swept away. Rescuers got the victim and pulled them to safety. They were taken away on a gurney, and there's no word as to their condition. Another rescue took place when several people were stranded. Crews found three people sitting on top of their vehicle when they arrived. Rescue crews managed to get the three flood victims off of their car and back to their loved ones. 
Sheriff's Office officials say three people are missing after a wildfire destroyed more than 900 homes in Colorado. An, a, an additional 127 structures were damaged in the Marshall Fire, which has burned over 6,000 acres as of Saturday. The Boulder County Sheriff says those missing person cases would likely turn into recovery operations. Meanwhile, tens of thousands of homes in Boulder County are still under mandatory evacuation orders. Unfortunately, with the snow overnight, we had a tremendous project on extinguishing the fire. Uh, we are currently still at 6,025 acres in total burn size. Fire trucks and personnel are still in the area. They've been able to shift their focus from responding to flare-ups and helping with damage assessment and that kind of thing. Beginning on January 1st or today at about 1 o'clock, all areas currently under pre-evacuation will be lifted in the city of Louisville. Some, some residents within the Marshall Fire area in the city of Louisville will be allowed to return to their homes. If your home is in a hard closure area, in other words, an area that just simply closed, you will not be allowed to return home at this time. Roads included in the hard closure uh, will be also on the OEM website. If your home is within a soft closure area in the city of Louisville, an ID will be required for re-entry. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Firefighters in South Africa are racing to put out a large fire that has ripped through the Parliament building in Cape Town. Flames and smoke could be seen from the building after the fire erupted. According to officials, it started on the third floor and quickly spread to the Parliament's lower house. They say the roof above the assembly hall is completely gone and offices nearby have been completely destroyed. Much of the building is severely damaged, waterlogged, and smoke damaged. So far, no injuries have been reported and there is no indication as to what may have started the fire. An investigation is still underway. The Department of Health and Human Resources has been notified that people are receiving spam text messages claiming to be from the DHHR. The message asks them to validate their license through the Division of Motor Vehicles in connection with the Center for Disease Control. The text says, quote, West Virginia COVID-19 vaccine driver's license waiver validation, validate your details below, and is followed by a link. According to the DHHR, no messages have been sent by them, and those who receive these should immediately delete the text. The DHHR says they will never ask for personal information through text message. Coming up on 12 News Weekend Edition, a new business opens in Clarksburg. We'll take you there to show you its brand new setup. Stick with us. At Hardee's, there's so many tongue-teasing, wallet-pleasing ways to enjoy our new $5 meal deals. Whether it's hand-breaded chicken tenders or the big cheeseburger with fries and a drink. Woo! Go ahead and treat yourself to the new $5 meal deals at Hardee's. Feed your happy. Senator Manchin, thank you for standing up for my family. Thank you, Joe, for fighting for my business. Keep fighting for us, Senator. We can't afford higher taxes and more inflation. Thank you, Joe, for protecting our jobs. Thank you, Senator, for what you do for us. Senator Manchin, thank you for loving West Virginia and putting us first. Call Senator Manchin and thank him for fighting for us and opposing bills that will raise prices for West Virginia families. When I recommend Joyce's, I recommend the quality. If somebody needs a ring, a bracelet, earrings, anything jewelry-wise, it's Joyce's. It was enjoyable. It wasn't that expensive, and I got her what she wanted, and she was happy. Everybody here was just excited as I was. Pick out a ring and be a part of my life. They listened. They really wanted to find out what we liked. Then we just felt like family since day one. Mm -hmm. Start your new year off with a look from Jack's Furniture Center. Jack's New Year's Day sale extravaganza is going on now. You can count on one thing for sure. Everything in the store is marked down to unbelievable savings. Plus get a cash discount up to 20% off or up to four years interest-free financing. Everything you love about furniture is at Jack's Furniture Center. Quality, design, selection, low prices, and special discounts. Plus immediate delivery on stock merchandise. The New Year's Day sale extravaganza everyone has been waiting for at Jack's Furniture Center, East Point, Clarksburg. Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. Whether it's the original hot ham and cheese, 
three-piece hand-breaded chicken tenders or the big cheeseburger with fries and a drink. Choose your flavor with the $5 meal deals at Hardee's and feed your happy. Follow Snowbird and WBOY Storm Tracker 12 throughout the weather season. Brought to you by Grog's Heating and Cooling. Working for you, this is 12 News Weekend Edition. This weekend, a new bowling alley opened up in Clarksburg. Alley 304 is on East Pike Street where the old Compton Lanes bowling alley used to be. Along with new paint and flooring, Alley 304 has a snack bar, TV monitors, an automatic scoring system, and 16 newly installed lanes. With new leadership on board, the manager hopes to fill a need in the community with this all-season activity by giving people who live here something to do in their free time. I didn't realize how much I was going to love having people in the building until we had it. It was really gratifying to see everybody here and having fun with their families and like I said all the different demographics that came out, dates and, and families and everything. Um, it's been really fun to watch everybody bowl again. It's just a really nice opportunity to get out of the house and get in here and um, have something fun and safe to do. Birthday parties are already being booked and the management plans to host themed events for holidays and other special occasions. Stonewall Resort hosted a part rock show, part comedy performance called the Dueling Piano Experience on New Year's Day. The performance took place in the resort's ballroom where there was also a cash bar for attendees. Resort officials say it's a unique and interactive experience with the dueling pianos. Guests were also encouraged to come early and enjoy dinner in TJ Muskie's Bar and Grill or Stillwater Restaurant. We've been playing together for about five years. Um, the show itself is an interactive all request show. Um, we play about every genre of music that we are requested as best we can. Um, we have no set list and the audience pretty much dictates what we do. We always tell them that we are human jukeboxes. Stonewall Resort offers overnight accommodation packages with event tickets included. Now the area's most accurate forecast. Storm Tracker 12 weather. Certified storm ready and powered by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. The official cleaning and restoration company of the West Virginia Mountaineers. Good evening, North Central West Virginia. We are under a winter weather advisory for portions of our region. If we take a look back to our eastern counties here, Pendleton, Randolph, Hardy, Grant, Pocahontas, and Webster County are under a winter weather advisory until 11 a.m. tomorrow morning with portions of Pocahontas County under a winter weather, um, winter storm warning, or rather until 1, 11 a.m. tomorrow morning as well. So make sure you are being careful as you head out the door tomorrow or tonight. Just give yourself a little bit of extra time to get through that. Current temperatures across the region around in the mid to upper 30s. We are continually dropping in those temperatures. We are down about 20 degrees lower than what we were yesterday at this time. But if we step it forward overnight tonight in Clarksburg, temperatures dropping down to around 25 degrees with a slight chance of snow here in the lowlands. But over in Elkins in the mountains, snow chances are much greater with potential of two to four inches of snow there. Icy roads are expected for overnight into the morning hours. So give yourself a little bit of extra time to get out and um, get to work in the morning. Then if we like take a look at our predictor currently, we do have a few spots over in Randolph County here that are beginning to ice over, become a little wintry mix before we do push it forward into early evening hours here. And then the big jump of it comes in around midnight tonight and continues through the day tomorrow, or through the early morning hours rather, with that remaining primarily east of I-79 with potential of places getting upwards of six inches, but most places around two to four inches of snow accumulated before clearing out into the day Monday and for Tuesday. We will have very sunny skies to come into play then. So we see here wintry weather with our predictions of the amounts of snowfall, two to four inches in Elkins as well down in Webster Springs over near Petersburg around four to eight inches potentially with that. So localized places can see upwards of six plus inches there. But let's take a look 
into tomorrow morning as you head out the door. Low 20s for the region. Roads are most likely going to be icy, so make sure you're giving yourself extra time for that commute in the morning because they will want to take that into account as you're heading out. But let's take a look at our seven day forecast. 34 degrees for a high tomorrow with that mountain snow moving out of the region early tomorrow morning. And then 47 for a high on Tuesday with sunny conditions. And then we continue in the 40s trends into Wednesday. And then Thursday we have another chance of some snow coming into play. The high of 35, but that end of the week is going to be super chilly. Yeah, so the first Monday of 2022, our morning commutes are not going to be ideal. They are oh, not. Terrible start, mm -hmm. but thank you for the report. We appreciate it. We'll catch back up a little bit later. Now, with a look at our Mountaineers, here is your Mountaineer Minute. When Michael Jordan returned to the NBA in 1995, he did so with two simple words. It's the same phrase that Dante Stills used on Sunday. The Fairmont native tweeted simply, I'm back. Stills, who has one year of eligibility remaining, announced Sunday that he will be using that extra year and will be remaining with the Mountaineers. Stills earned first team all Big 12 honors this season, racking up 15 tackles for loss. His 43 and a half stops behind the line of scrimmage are third most in program history, and he's tied for sixth place on the all time sacks list at WVU. So that's now two extremely important pieces of the West Virginia front seven that's returning for 2022 as Stills and Josh Chandler Semito have both announced that they are coming back. The same is not the case, though, for defensive back Jackie Matthews. Matthews announced via social media Sunday morning that he will be entering the transfer portal. Matthews leaves West Virginia as a graduate transfer, but has up to two years of eligibility remaining. Matthews played in all 13 games this season and recorded 44 total tackles. You can find stories on both of those players' decisions at GoldenBlueNation.com. Elsewhere, the WVU women's basketball team is in action against Iowa State. Full recap and highlights coming up tonight. That's the latest on the Mountaineers here in Morgantown. I'm Ryan Decker. When you want roofing done right, we've got you covered. Right roofing, we got you covered. Team up with Right Roofing, LLC. Your roof is more than just a decorative finish on top of your home or office. It's a large investment and protects your interior from the elements. If you need roof repairs or roof replacement services, make sure you choose a skilled roofing contractor for the job. Right Roofing, LLC is a roofing company in Buchanan, West Virginia, with extensive experience working with all types of materials. No matter what kind of roofing system you use, you can rely on us for quick, high-quality service. Ask for a free estimate on asphalt, rubber, or metal roofing services when you contact us today. At Home Finders Plus Real Estate, our wish is that you enjoy the holiday get-togethers with family and friends, and may the warmth and festivities of this holiday season fill your heart with joy. From all of us at Home Finders Plus, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Today, vaccines and antivirals are helping fight the pandemic because scientists and researchers in America's biopharmaceutical industry acted fast after investing billions over years to achieve breakthroughs. But now, Congress is threatening legislation that will devastate private industry's ability to fund treatments just like these. What's at stake isn't corporate profits, it's public preparedness. Tell Congress to oppose legislation that would harm our ability to fight pandemics. Paid for by Coalition to Protect Access. Visit WBOY.com for this week's Half Off Hump Day deal. Get $50 worth of gift cards for only $25. Looking for a way to ring in the new year? WBOY is offering exclusive deals on your favorite restaurants and businesses with special savings up to 80% off. Don't wait. These deals are only available for a limited amount of time. Go to WBOY.com and get your half off hump day deal. At Home Finders Plus Real Estate, our wish is that you enjoy the holiday get togethers with family and friends and may the warmth and festivities of this holiday season fill your heart with joy. From all of us at Home Finders Plus, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Don't fight the insurance companies alone. The Miley Legal Group will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Visit MileyLegal.com today and get the tiger on your side. Happy Back in Stowe, 12 News working for you. I know when people hear about a crash involving a truck, they automatically think about an 18-wheeler or a big rig. But I've seen devastation caused by all kinds of trucks when they collide with a car. Delivery vans, buses, commercial vehicles, even large pickup trucks can cause catastrophic damage 
that can change someone's life forever. So when I say hurt by a truck, I mean any kind of truck. Hurt by a truck? Call Colombo Law. Two years ago, a woman found a pleasant surprise in the contents of a storage unit she had purchased. She discovered five pieces of rare pottery created, created by George Orr, who is known as the Mad Potter, Potter of Biloxi. Now, five of those pieces are going to auction. Rick Grieve has the story. A nine-year storage auctioneer vet, Joanna Kuhn, says she doesn't strike gold that often in her career. But a couple of years ago, she did. Amongst the items found in a storage unit she purchased were five pieces of George Orr pottery. Recently, she decided to put one of the pieces on the auction block. And they do come up um, for auction every now and then, sometimes in clusters, sometimes individual pieces. George Orr was known as the Mad Potter of Biloxi and is known for making thousands of pieces of pottery during his career spanning from 1879 to about 1910. His career is broken down into three separate periods, and this piece is from his second period, where he was known for making thin pottery with vibrant glazes. He went and started working with some pottery, and he said he took to clay like a duck to water. What's hot and what's not changes over time. It has to do with taste, it has to do with certain collectors, um, focusing on certain bodies of work. Or closed his pottery shop in 1910 packed away his collection, and asked that his heirs keep the collection untouched until 50 years after his death. Only a few years after the request expired, an antiques dealer from New Jersey, James Carpenter, purchased the entire collection from the Orr family. By the 1970s, Orr was finally recognized as the master he was. Now he's out more into the mainstream, his images, his work, and he is just one of the geniuses of Mississippi culture. We're now in 2022, and retail experts say grocery store prices are expected to go up. Ali Spilliard breaks down why it's happening. It's not your imagination. Prices at the register keep going up. All thanks to a perfect storm unlike anything seen in years, according to grocery industry consultant Gary Huddleston. I've seen inflation, of course, in my 45 years. I've seen some supply chain issues and what we call out of stocks, being able to get product on the shelf issues, seen some labor issues, but I don't believe I've ever seen it all come together at once like it has, say, even in the last six months. Two of the biggest factors are increased employment costs thanks to an employee shortage that requires employers to pay more overtime, along with increased fuel costs. Because not only is it gasoline, it's the petrochemicals to, to, to produce the packaging, the plastic bags, the plastic, and all those ancillary items that are, are petroleum provides for. And that pressure on manufacturers gets passed on to retailers who ultimately have no choice but to charge the consumer more, especially as price hikes hit products at every level. If you think about this jar of preserves, it's got strawberries in it, and the increased price of strawberries is one thing that goes into it. It's got citric acid, which is a preservative, and that price of citric acid has gone up. It has sugar, and sugar is an all-time high right now. Expect the highest hikes on meat, which is up about 15% from this time last year. For value, Huddleston recommends fresh produce. Though a significant drop isn't on the horizon, the industry expects increases to ease sometime in the new year. In the meantime, Huddleston says expect to see more self-checkout and anything stores can do to cut costs. Twitter has permanently suspended the account of Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene. The social network company said in a statement that it took action after Greene's, quote, repeated violations of their COVID-19 misinformation policy. The company said it uses a strike system and that the Republican representative had received her fifth strike, which meant her account will not be restored. In August, Twitter had issued a fourth strike for falsely posting that the vaccines were failing. Today, Green released a statement saying, quote, Twitter is an enemy to America and can't handle the truth. Stay with us. Josh is back with a final look at our forecast right after this. Traumatic brain injuries caused by car wrecks are much more common than you think. Untreated brain injuries could lead to a dangerous health risk. We provide a checklist that helps you identify the common symptoms. 
Go to MileyLegal.com and get the tiger on your side. Senator Manchin, I'm proud to call you my friend. I'm even prouder of the bipartisan work that you're doing for West Virginia, taking on the corruption, ending dark money, and securing our elections. Your leadership on this plan is your legacy. It will be remembered for generations to come, and it will matter to the millions of Americans whose voices are never heard. Thank you, Senator, for seeing this through. Prepare to feel good in 2022. Join Planet Fitness now for zero enrollment, 10 bucks a month till January 6th. Enjoy tons of equipment in our clean clubs for zero enrollment. Zero enrollment? And 10 bucks a month. That makes me so happy. You know what else will make you happy? Blowing off steam in our judgment-free zone. <laughs> it's all about the endorphins, baby. What's up? It's this place, I tell you. Amen, baby. Feel Fitacular in 2022 for zero enrollment, $10 a month, cancel anytime. Deal ends January 6th. Visit WBOY.com for this week's half-off hump day deal. Get $50 worth of gift cards for only $25. Looking for a way to ring in the new year? WBOY is offering exclusive deals on your favorite restaurants and businesses with special savings up to 80% off. Don't wait. These deals are only available for a limited amount of time. Go to WBOY.com and get your half-off hump day deal. If you've been injured in a car wreck, you will experience a lot of red tape with your claim. Visit MileyLegal.com to find the answers you need. We'll help you cut through the red tape and get you back on your feet. Visit MileyLegal.com and get the tiger on your side. Welcome back. Josh is here with one final look at our forecast. We're under a winter weather advisory for portions of our region, Randolph, Pendleton, Hardy, Grant, Pocahontas, and Webster County until 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. So make sure you are taking that into account if you're heading out the door tomorrow. Roads are going to be a little sloshy and wet and possibly even a little bit of black ice out there too. So give yourself a little bit of extra time on that commute tomorrow morning. Yes, definitely. Stay safe out there. And that's all the time we have for 12 News Weekend Edition. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll be back here tonight at 11 with all the latest local news, sports, and weather. Have a good night. See you at 11.